97 years ago, sometime in the early morning hours of Friday the 15th of August 1924, Sister Bridget ceased to exist. She was found dead, hanging in her room at the Convent of Mercy in North Melbourne. A cord had been wrapped tightly around her neck and a length attached to the hook on her bedroom door. Sister Bridget had apparently used the weight of her body to achieve the act of suicide. However, in cases that people had died from self-inflicted strangulation, the eyes are normally found to be open, and the face becomes black. Sister Bridget's eyes, however, were closed and her face was very white, knowing that suicide is a mortal sin that can't be forgiven. Sister Bridget may have realised the ramifications of her actions and simply died of fright, or a case of auto-suggestion where she believed she was dead during the act and as a result died. The only thing darker than a nun committing suicide is if a nun was murdered. The doctor thought the death was suspicious enough that he thought police should be notified. So the story seems to simply end here with no follow-up. Is there anything here that may point to a homicide? Sister Bridget, whose real name was Rose Lane, had only arrived at the North Melbourne convent that night. This was after she spent time in hospital recovering from a major operation. It seems strange you would fight through something like that and then afterwards give up. The eyes being closed, for example, is an odd aspect here. They should have been opened. But in the Catholic faith, eyes closed after death is a sign of being at peace, in a deep sleep. Is this maybe a sign of remorse? It is unclear whether it was indeed suicide or maybe murder. Maybe the answer still walks the halls, waiting to be heard. But the most simple answer in this case is probably the correct one. Rose Lane died of suicide.